Hello everyone, today we will talk about Jetpack on Post Navigation. So let's go into the build.gradle from the app module and paste this dependency. And now let's go back to the main activity. And here we will create a nav controller equals remember nav controller. And this basically helps us to navigate between the screens. And this should be attached to a nav host. So let's attach the nav controller to it and say start destination and this is an empty string for now okay so the nav host basically contains all of the screens of the app and here we can define some routes like a composable it's a route and we pass the name of the route and open a block and here we will have our screen so let's create the screen first so screen one um, let's say a column that fill, fills the max size, so modifier dot fill max size. We want that the content should be in the center, so we align horizontally and vertically in the center. And now we need to pass uh, the name of the screen, so screen 1 let's say one and a button that uh, that says navigate to next screen and let's uh, create the screen two. change the name of the composable let's say screen two. navigate to next screen and let's also add the button that says navigate back Let's create the last screen, copy the composable and paste it. This will be the screen three. Change the name. Um, let's remove this button. Or let's let it here and let's say navigate back and navigate back to screen one. Now let's add a callback to screen one. And this is called navigate to screen two and uh, now let's add two callbacks uh, to the screen two so this will be navigate to screen three and navigate oops navigate back and now let's also add uh, two callbacks here one uh, should be called navigate back and uh, the second one navigate back to screen one i'm using callbacks because if i pass the nav controller directly as a parameter like this nav controller and call the uh, let's say navigate oops nav controller dot navigate and we pass the route here this can be called on each recomposition so to avoid this we just pass a callback and let's also define some routes so let's create an object called route and here we will have a screen one equals equals screen one screen two and the screen three Now we can go into the nav host and replace the start destination with route.screen1. Let's format the code and the first composable is route.screen1 and now let's pass the screen1. I need to make it uh, as a parameter on navigate to screen2. Let's say nav controller dot navigate route oops route object dot screen two now let's create another route in our navigation graph and this is the second screen uh, screen two open the block and say screen two let's um remove this block and say navigate back 
and this will be navcontroller.pop backstack and this will navigate back to the first screen and uh, we want to navigate to the third screen so navcontroller.navigate route.screen3 and the last screen is the route equals route.screen3 and open the block and we are passing the composable we are doing the same thing nav uh, navigate back to screen one let's start with navigate back so nav controller dot pop backstack but now we want to navigate to screen one so we can say nav controller dot pop backstack and now we can add an additional argument called route and we pass the route that uh, we want to navigate back to and we also need to say inclusive and we set it to false because if we set this to true we'll remove the screen one from the back stack and uh, it will be an empty screen now let's go to the screens and replace the on click function with the one that we passed navigate to next screen is navigate to screen 3 navigate back is navigate back oops navigate back the same thing here navigate back and this is navigate back to screen 1 let's run the app and see how it looks so let's try to navigate to the next screen now let's try to navigate back now let's go to the main, uh, th the third screen and we can navigate back and now we can navigate back to screen 1 and if I'm doing this this should close yeah, it's closed. Okay, now we can also say that uh, we can navigate from screen 1 to screen 3 and remove the screen 1 from the back stack. So let's say screen 3 and we open a block and say pop up to and we pass the route and the route is screen 1. So this is pop up, pops the screen out of the back stack. Uh, navigation backstack and we need to add, uh, add inclusive equals true so let's try to navigate to the screen 3 and this worked and uh, navigate back won't work because we don't have any screens behind of this one in the backstack I think this is it and if you want to learn more about the Compose navigation like passing objects to other screens I have a video about that and I also have a post written on my blog so make sure to check it out and you also have the repository in the description of this video and see you soon.